Today we're going to talk about concierge physical therapy, mobile PT, mobile physical therapy, and the nine essential steps you need to take to launch your concierge practice. Hey, my name's uh, Dr. Aaron LeBauer, and I help physical therapists like you scale their time, income, and impact. So be sure you hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of the next videos. Today, what we're gonna do is talk about exactly what you need to do to launch your physical therapy practice as a concierge practice or a mobile PT practice. The concierge and mobile PT are somewhat similar. Some people think concierge, what they're thinking is a high level of service, we come to you, that's value added. Great, mobile PT, somewhat similar. More people think of it more of like a home health, outpatient physical therapy for people. They're very similar, two different words, slight differences. So I want you to understand a few things before we get into the list is that the differences are somewhat semantic in my mind. They may be very different in yours. You need to understand that you're bringing a ton of value to people by traveling to them, even though most people who choose mobile or concierge because they don't have a high overhead of renting a brick and mortar space. I did uh, mobile therapy for about eight years before I got a clinic and in my clinic space that allowed me to see one person per hour for five hours in the day. I could see my five people a day and leave rather than five people spread out over an eight hour day. Even if you're starting now or you're watching this because you're thinking about getting started and doing mobile or concierge is a good way to do a side hustle it is and thinking long term once you get busy what you need to think about is am i going to hire someone else because this is the long-term value proposition or am i going to eventually find a place especially if i start earning enough money to see patients quit my job so i want you to understand that four thousand dollars a month goal is too small you should be aiming for six figures which is eighty eight thousand three hundred thirty three dollars a month what does that look like to me in my practice well, if you're charging what I'm charging and what I teach most of my Platinum Mastermind members to charge and how to enroll people into your services, that's about eight new patients a month. It's actually less. Um, it's about six new patients a month, about two people a week. Can you get two new people a week onto an eight visit plan of care? And if you're charging what we're charging, you are making six figures. So it's very simple, but not always easy because it takes a lot of work. You have to learn not only about just setting up your business, but you have to learn about sales. You have to speak directly to your client and customer. So I've got some notes written down. So I'm gonna go through my list on my phone and share with you the nine essential steps to start a concierge or mobile physical therapy practice. So these are the things that you need to know and need to start thinking about. And then there are some details, like the details of exactly how to, like what are the links, where are the specific things you need. So I'm gonna go through the nine essential steps and then I'm gonna share with you what you can do next to get the rest of the information because there's not enough time in a you know, 10, 15 minute YouTube video for me to teach you everything you need to know. Uh, that's what I do in my course, uh, the Cash PT Blueprint, which has nine modules and probably 15 hours, 20 hours of video trainings. And then we take people from the blueprint to my Platinum Mastermind group where we meet three times a year. We meet multiple times a month on group calls. So there's some things that you need to know right now to get started. And that's what I'm gonna share with you. The, the top nine things that basically I wish I knew when I started, because this took me over 20 years to figure out and I'm gonna share it with you just in the next 10 minutes. So the number one thing you need to get clear on is your why. Like, why am I starting my own business? Why am I willing to go out of network and do cash? Why am I willing to put in all the work? Because it's not good enough just to try to escape a bad, shitty job. What you need to be working towards is some goal of yours. Why is this important to me? Why it's important to Aaron is because I want time and money freedom and I want the freedom to treat my patients the way that I see fit, not the way the insurance is gonna pay for or the way the f doctor or referring physician wants me to. I wanna be a decision maker in my patient's journey because I've seen so many people, I know what they need best, and so that's why I'm willing to go out of network and do the hard work and wake up every day. The reason I'm here with you, my why, is because I've seen too many people get opioids and injections before PT, they're addicted to opioids. They've had surgery now. They've had an MRI that scared them. And it's something that I could have easily fixed. I've had dozens of people say, Dr. LeBauer, you're the first person to touch me where it hurts. And now I feel so much better. I've been to see dozens of other people. I want that to stop. So that's my why. And that's why I get up every day because being an entrepreneur is a journey. And it's not whether cash PT or concierge PT or mobile PT works. 
It's whether you want it to work for you and you have the motivation and drive. So you have to get clear on your why and why is this so important to you? Because some days it's gonna be hard and difficult. Doing the work and being successful takes action on your part. So number two, you need to decide on your niche. Your niche, this is so much simple and most people think the niche is the body part on the shoulder or on the CrossFit doc, on the, on the ACL. Like it's not a body part or a condition and it's not necessarily, I'm the McKenzie therapist, that's not my niche. I'm, I'm the MFR therapist, that's not my niche. That might be a specialty I have, but your niche is how you describe the transformation you help your patients make. So at LaBauer Physical Therapy, we help active people in Greensboro stay fit, healthy, and strong without pain meds, injections, or surgery. Your niche is who you help and what you help them achieve, which is really your USP. So you just got a two for, two for one. So think about that. USP, unique serving proposition or unique value proposition. So then number three is you have to know your avatar. You have to know them by name. You have to know them like in your mind. You close your eyes. And I know who I'm speaking to right now. When I'm making videos for my clinic, I know who I'm speaking to because I know their pain, their problems, their struggles. I know their income. I know whether they work. I know the types of kids they have, you know, how their life is set up because I've spent time writing it down, being very specific about who it is. So you have to know who your avatar is and know just because you have a niche and you have a very specific avatar doesn't mean you can't help other people. But if you're speaking to everyone, you're going to help no one. Number four, you have to commit to the long game. Like I said before, this is going to work. It's whether you want it to work for you and you're committed. By being committed, you have to know your why. And wins aren't just monetary. Wins are satisfaction. Wins are getting shit done. <laughs> like, did I get in my lead magnet? Did I build the website? Did I get a table or figure out how do I track miles? Once I've figured out how am I gonna track my miles for tax purposes, now I gotta win. If there's an easy app to do that, great. You should have a really good accountant that can help you with that. Maybe even write off your car. Like you can absolutely write off your car if you're using it for work in the right ways. You have to commit to the long game because short-term wins are just fleeting. This is a long game because you're making a career change or you're making a business change. Think about what is it gonna to take to be successful five, 10 years down the road? Look, I've been doing this for over 20 years. I wasn't successful right out of the gate and coaching other people. I've helped them become successful five times faster than I was. For instance, one of my private coaching clients and Platinum Mastermind members, Derek Nielsen, he launched a brand new business in Durham, North Carolina. He didn't know a single person there before he moved there. He moved there with his girlfriend who was going to school to become a nurse practitioner. And using my systems, and everything I taught him and everything he learned through my courses and programs, he was able to generate $10,000 in eight, his first eight weeks and $15,000 in his eighth month and almost six figures in his first year. $96,207 in his first year in business and he didn't know a single person. He didn't have any referral sources. He didn't know any gym owners, etc. And the guy doesn't even like to go out and do in-person workshops. He wants to do it all um, through Facebook advertising and, and webinars and online systems. And Derek and I sat down one time and I was looking at my schedule to see, cause he was like, well, Aaron, I'm not getting busy fast enough. I'm like, dude, you're crushing it. He was like, no, I'm not. And I said, okay, look, let me go through my schedule. And I went through two years of my schedule. And it took me two years to do what Derek did in 15 months. And that's numbers of patients on average for a four month rolling period. So in Derek's eighth month, he was on average seeing 15 to 16 people. It took me two years to do that. And Derek was charging twice as much as I was charging when in that first two years. So Derek uh, was able to do what I did in two years in just eight months. That's because of the coaching and because he's one of my best students, he, I tell him what to do and he'll do it. Occasionally he'll question me. He's like, no, I don't think so. And he was like, oh, you were right. I like, I like being right. But really what I like doing is helping other people win. When you commit to the long game, you know that um, results come when you invest your time, your energy, and even some money into the long game. Because investments, you're never gonna win in the stock market if you're trying to play it every day. Stock market wins and in real estate wins and investments are made in long-term investments. So think about that. Number five, build your value. Don't charge less just because you're doing mobile PT or concierge because you don't have a overhead. You do have overhead. You just don't have a clinic space you're renting. You know, I've got some of my mastermind members um, in Brooklyn are charging, are paying like $5,000 a month 
Um, ben Baggy was out in Oakland, I think it was like $5,500 a month and he's just subleasing out there. And I got other people in places uh, paying $1,000 a month, even 500 or subleasing other space for $20 uh, per hour that they use it. Build your value. Just because you're not paying rent doesn't mean that what you're doing isn't valuable for people. I've seen people who are doing concierge PT, wake up at 5 a.m., drive 45 minutes, go see two people, and leave feeling like it wasn't worth it. It was too much time they were spending. And I, and I said, well, how much would you have to charge for it to be absolutely worth it every day for you to wake up and go there three times a week? Oh, and he was like, oh, like $175, $200. I mean, it's charging right around $100 for visit, and it wasn't worth it. I can tell you what, when you're working as a concierge physical therapist and you're actually treating people who are executives, who are high performers, they value their time so much that by you coming to them, you're saving them a half hour of travel on each end. That could be worth a thousand dollars to them. So do not undercharge. I would actually say if you're going to do a concierge and actually be like, I'm high level concierge for high performers and, and people that are too busy to come to me, then you need to charge a premium because you're saving them tons of time. But you also need to build the value of basically we come to you, which saves you time. You're going to come to see me three times a week. Generally, you're going to see a regular person three times a week, a regular PT three times a week. You're going to spend three hours there plus three hours of travel back and forth. Typically, my patients come to see us once, maybe twice a week. You don't even have to travel to us. I'm saving you three hours a week. Plus, I'm coming uh, to you in the convenience of your own home, office, or gym, which means it's more comfortable for you, which means I can teach you things to do at home that you can easily replicate. Number one thing as a concierge physical therapist, you're saving other people time and you're providing an amazing level of service that they know no one else is getting except them. So if you're charging them $125 an hour for that, they're not going to value it nearly as much as if you were charging double, if not more. I would sell them packages and programs that are at least eight to 12 weeks as long as it's something that they need if they have a specific injury. If it's a quick, easy fix, like sprained your ankle, see them one to three times, I'm not saying char overcharge for that, but charge for the value that you bring to the table. Number six, get your legal documents in place. Just because it's a side hustle, startup, mobile, or concierge doesn't mean you don't need the legal documents in place. A business, an official business, you need to be able to take a payment, do your charting and uh, soap notes, and uh, make sure you have liability insurance and you have a business entity, an NPI number. One of the ways that goes through all that uh, information, one of the things that you can get is the Cash PT Checklist. It's cashptchecklist.com. I've listed out all the legal documents and steps you need to take uh, to launch your cash practice and concierge practice. Number seven, set up marketing systems. Setting up marketing systems is including your website and landing pages for like your ebook or pelvic PT checklist, other systems where you're going to send welcome emails and thank you emails, thank you letters. You need to set up systems for your business because Businesses are only as good as the systems, not the people that run them. Go in all in on your processes and hire great people to run your processes and systems. That includes you. As the physical therapist, you're a highly trained technician. As the business owner, you need to set the system. So as you go through and build your business, you need to write down every step and every action piece and where things are located so someone else can come behind you and replicate it easily. With the right systems and software, that's how you're going to leverage your time and expertise to generate six figures and more as a concierge or a mobile PT. Number eight, I've seen a lot of people make this mistake. You're smart. You probably scored better on the GRE than I did. You, you know your shit. You've done tons of con ed and everything, but where business is concerned, this is the time to check your ego. Just like you want the surgeon to check their ego when talking to a patient who has back pain and they tell them, never lift more than 35 pounds. Well, I'm telling you, when it comes to business and systems, I get it. You could probably figure this all out on your own, but wouldn't it be awesome if you could like speed it up? Wouldn't it be awesome if you didn't have to go through all the effort to reinvent the wheel and prove to yourself that you could create it too, just because Aaron's created it? Well, I can tell you this is when it comes to business, I work with coaches. I work with business coaches because what business coaches do is they give me back my time because I don't have to go figure it out and try it out. I know what's worked for someone else and I go and install it in my business and I adapt it to my business and my market and my audience. I started my cash practice with a coach. I started my online business with a coach. I have a coach today. It's a $50,000 a year coaching program. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on business coaching. I've actually spent more on business coaching than I did to get my doctor of physical therapy degree. And I suggest you do the same because it's only gonna help you get your results faster than trying to do it on your own.
And yeah, you can probably go find all the information on my YouTube channel. And if you do, awesome, please comment below and let me know what's most helpful. Utilizing the resources from a business coach can help you get there even faster and help more people on the way. If I had a business coach in the beginning that helped me charge what I char know how to charge now, it helped me sell physical therapy the way I sell it now, I would have an extra million dollars in the bank. And I was actually going back and talking to Derek, I mentioned Derek earlier about this, and he was like, no, don't even calculate it. And I calculated, for the numbers of patients I saw in the first seven years of my clinical practice as a physical therapist, not when I was a massage therapist, but as a PT, if I charged from the beginning what I charge now, I would have an extra million dollars. And I'll tell you this, as a massage therapist, I was charging $85 an hour and people didn't hesitate to pay it. But when I became a PT, everyone was like, no one's gonna pay more than their copay for PT. So that kept me from charging what I was actually worth because I had a business coach who helped me get started, but he didn't insist that I charge more. It was not part of that conversation and not part of that coaching program, unfortunately. If I went back to do that myself, and that's what I do with my Platinum Mastermind members, the first thing that we do is I take them through my program, Ethical Influence, which teaches them how to charge what they're worth and enroll people in plans of care without them hesitating or feeling like sleazy car salesmen. So charge what you're worth, go all in, get the coaching and get the roadmap that you need so you can make it better and take it to the next level. Cause I never drive from Greensboro to Poughkeepsie without opening up Google Maps. And the roadmap is exactly what you need. And that's what people find in my program, the Cash PT Blueprint. The Blueprint helps you get to generating five to $10,000 a month so that once you get to that level, then you can enroll in our Platinum Mastermind program. So I can help you go from five, 10, 15, 20 to 30, 40, 50, even 65,000 a month and scaling a second location like uh, Ben Baggy, who's one of my um, most recent uh, mastermind members to scale that quickly. Um, he did went from 20 to 22,000 a month to 32,000 in the first month by changing some pricing and sales structures. And then after month eight, he was at 65,000 a month and uh, moving out of town to go open a second location <laughs> during the pandemic. So. Check your ego, like you're smart enough, but go all in on your business education just as much as you did on your clinical education. And number nine, I already mentioned this, but get the Cash PT checklist. The Cash PT checklist contains all the essential steps to launching and scaling your physical therapy, cash-based concierge and mobile PT practice. It's cashptchecklist.com. There should be a link below the video. And number 10, I'm gonna do a solid for you. Once you download the Cash PT checklist, you're gonna get a link to a free launch training where we're gonna to go together for longer than this video. Um, we're gonna go for about another hour, hour and a half on the three secrets to launching and scaling um, your physical therapy, concierge, and cash-based practice. So download the Cash PT checklist. Before you do that, hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. Tell your friends, share this video, go get the Cash PT checklist, and then join me on the launch training. You should get that uh, link after you download the checklist, and I'll see you on the next training. Thanks so much, this is Aaron LeBauer, and go crush it, because people need your help.